What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Practically Home. I'm Aubrey and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to style your fireplace mantle. If you guys missed it in my last video, I recently did a Hobby Lobby haul. I picked up some really great decor pieces that are going to look fantastic on my fireplace mantle. For my mantle, I really wanted something that was going to feel layered and cozy and I also wanted it to be a focal point of my family room and I feel like I definitely achieved that. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I styled it. I'm going to walk you guys through my steps and my thought process of what I do do when I put together my fireplace mantle. So without further ado, we are just going to jump on into it. When it comes to decorating a fireplace mantle, you really want it to feel balanced. So I'm going to start with my largest piece of decor, which is this gorgeous 40 by 40 art frame. I love the piece of artwork. I love the color tones in it. So I'm going to off center this. I'm going to put it more on the right side. Then I'm going to go in with my next biggest piece, which is this one. This is about a 20 by 20 frame. I love the wood. I love that it's glass. So you can kind of see through behind it. And I'm just going to scoop that over. Again, nothing is going to be directly centered. It's all about kind of just making it feel balanced and making it feel and look effortless. So next I'm gonna put this glass vase and I'm gonna put this on the left side. Because my frame is so large on the right, the 40 by 40 artwork, that's my focal point. So since that's my focal point, I'm going to put another floral decor piece on the left side to balance out the sizing of the main focal artwork. Now since I am accenting with black, I'm going to use these decorative books. Books are so easy and great. They also can give height to smaller accessories and that's what I'm going to use them for on my mantle. So I'm going to put my largest candlestick on top of the book and then my second largest I'm going to go right next to it and then I'm going to put the mini candlestick I'm going to layer that on the book as well so now you can see the candles even have different heights to them it just gives the eye something more to look at and of course, this little candlestick is being a little bugger. So as you can see, I have a little touch of black in this book here. I have the black candlesticks. I have a little bit of black accents in the artwork. And then I also have this black right here. So I'm really trying to carry the theme of black. And then you also can see I have the raw wood. But I'm not overloading it with the accent color. I'm going to add a candle because I love lit candles with the fireplace on. That's probably one of my favorite combos. So I'm going to add my candle there. And then next I'm going to get these wooden beads. I love wooden beads. They're so easy. They're so fun to decorate with. So I'm going to drape these out of the pot and I love the wood tassels. All right, so next I'm going to add my greenery. Now for my greenery, I wanted it to be very oversized. As you can tell, it might look very large, but I want it to be oversized so that way it will also balance the main focal point, which is the piece of artwork. So I have three greenery stems that I'm going to use to fill it up. And then I'm just going to kind of bend some of the stems to make it feel more whimsical. And you just kind of play around with it until you like what you have. So I'm just going to bend a few of these stems. Perfect. There we go. You guys, that's how easy it is to decorate a fireplace mantle. Now, obviously, there are a ton of different ways and variety of ways that you can decorate a mantle. 
but I'm really loving how this all came together. It's very easy. It's very simple. So when it comes to decorating your mantle, don't overthink it. It's all about balance. Have a main focal point, have some greenery, and have books and layers that you can accessorize with. And it's that easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave me some comments down below of what other videos you guys would like to see. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.